Welcome back to another video on Wolf Hunter's Armory on YouTube. Today I've got uh, a couple things I want to share with you. Um, remember if you guys have been watching, I did a uh, review on the Cytac. Uh, I think they call it the Megafit holster. Uh, the one I did was the compact to full size. Well, I actually have two new holsters from them now. Uh, one of them is the Megafit for the compact subcompact. Uh, so the other one had five screws. You can see this one only has four adjustment screws. And they have a new ankle holster that we're going to talk about here. So first, let's go over the Megafit Compact Subcompact. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the smallest to the largest. So I'm going to adjust this all the way down so we can get started. And if you're noticing, uh, this one is a little bit wide, and I'll explain why that is in just a minute here. So tightening all of these up here, put it in its thinnest configuration. Probably should have done this before I started the video, but it's a little late for that now. And thankfully these adjustments don't take very long. It's an Allen key. And this is one of the reasons that I like these holsters so much, uh, regardless of whether you're using a full-size gun, a compact, or a subcompact, they make something that'll fit almost anything. So, it is down at its smallest configuration. Now you notice this is a little bit wide. Um, they actually sent me, when I ordered this from them, uh, they sent me, because they saw the last video that I did, uh, the company actually sent me the quick release uh, so this has got a little tab that you press in and it separates from the belt clip Just snaps right in and there is a button under the bottom that allows you to swivel this 180 degrees all the way around So show that it'll actually rotate and it locks in place at different Different cant angles uh, depending on how you want it so um, that's actually pretty cool and I'm not going to keep it on this one um, this is not something that I would normally carry normally if I carry uh, one of the outside the uh, waistband you know open carry style holsters I'm carrying one of my full-size guns one of my 1911s which you guys haven't seen yet I haven't done a video on those the uh, anyway, most of the full-size the Ruger American the Canik uh, stuff like that. The uh, Ruger 57. Again, I don't think you guys have seen that one yet. Um, but I wouldn't really use this one, but I was interested to see if this one was as good as their large version and if it really would fit anything, pretty much. So, um, the first thing that I've got is the, the Star Model S. Um, let's see, does that... A little bit tight fit. No, oh, it actually nope, it didn't lock. So that one won't quite fit. It needs a little bit of adjustment. Let me try this one just for giggles. No, that one will not fit either. So now I can open this up just a little bit wider. Let's see if we can make it slide in and lock. We are almost there. Oh, there we go. Locks in. Locks in place. Releases. Locks in place. So it actually does work for the star. Now let's check out the little uh, Phoenix HP 22 and that one will not fit. Just that, you know, yeah, that one's not going to fit, so it will not fit this. Uh, next thing I've got is a little diamond bag, the DB9. Will it fit? And it does. It actually does fit. 
clicks in quite nice. Um, it's a little bit tight in there, so I'm going to loosen just this screw here on the back, and we can actually tighten this front side up. Make it a little more snug. There we go, getting a little bit of resistance. And this one here, it's nice and loose. Tighten it up till we feel a little resistance. There we go. And still a little bit tight on the front side. So loosen that up till we stop feeling resistance. And same thing with this one here. Yep, there we go. Fits in there nice, locks in, no wiggle. It's not going to fall out. It actually locks in quite nicely. So, it's the Diamond Deck DV9. Right, let's see which one of these is bigger. Okay, so this one would be the next one. Now, this one is a little bit thicker, so I'm going to save this one, although this one is the, uh, the next smallest one. Uh, I'm going to save this one for last because it is the thicker of the two. Uh, this one is the Smith & Wesson m and Easy. It's the 380 Easy. So let's see. Yep, that's going to have to be opened up a little bit. And the way that I normally do this is I'll open it up a little wider than it needs to be. Set the gun in it so that it locks. And then wherever I can feel play in it, I'll tighten it down to make sure it's a nice good fit uh, without having it over tightened. So, go ahead and tighten this side down a little bit. And I'm going the wrong direction. I'm doing it backwards. I usually have it facing me. There we go. Feeling a little resistance there. I got a little resistance there. And let's see how that is. Yeah, there we go. That's just enough. Uh, snugness where you actually have to press it in to click it so it's got a little bit of drag to it i can loosen that up if i want to you can make it as loose or as tight as you personally like it i like it to have a little bit of uh, force to push in and pull out i don't want it to be rattling around like that you know oh. yeah so that was opened up just a slight bit too much it's not guiding it into the uh to the locking position so let's come back a couple turns right there and right there, there we go. so that fits it's in there nice and tight no wobble no wiggle yeah put it in as loose or as tight as you prefer it now we have the Hellcat and how about that? Same setting as the Smith & Wesson 380EZ. The Springfield Hellcat fits in there the same. Goes in, positive lock. No wiggle or wobble in it. So, out of the five that I have out here, only one would not fit, and that is this little Phoenix 22. Which I figured it wouldn't, but I figured I would give it a try anyway. Um, and it doesn't fit, I think, the uh, 
the angle over here from the uh, trigger guard to the barrel is a little little too far for it to actually reach down in before it starts hitting the uh, back of the grip there. So yeah, something like this will not fit. However, this will. It's a little bit weird there because they are basically the exact same size. But as you can see where this one is a little more squared off and this one's got that big sweep to it. Uh, that's what's preventing it from locking in on the 22 there. I'll turn that around so you can see the other side. Uh, yeah, it's that piece right there that's actually blocking it from locking in. So, but the Diamondbacks do fit. The Phoenix Arms do not. All right, enough about this one. Let's move this out of the way. And let's talk about this. So, by the way, I have been wearing this uh, just to test it because I was curious about it uh, for about a month. Um, it's not every single day, but almost every day that I go out, I wear this just to test it out. And it has been just as good as the full size. I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't like it. And so far, you guys haven't really seen anything that I don't recommend. There are a lot of things that really don't make the videos. Um, maybe I will start doing reviews on things that I see that I do not like. Um, and let you know about those. Now, this is going to be one that I like, but I do have an issue with. Uh, this is also by SciTac. This is their ankle holster. And I like this style ankle holster. Uh, it's soft material it's uh like neoprene on the back uh it does have nylon straps now you can see here the neoprene does come up and cover the buckle on this side all right where it goes around your ankle that's great another plus this one compared to the other one that i have that works the same way that has the uh, calf strap with the uh, ankle holster is whenever I was carrying something like the little diamond bag in it, when I slid it into the pocket, it would slide out of the bottom. Uh, over time, walking through it, it was a really wide pocket um, in the previous one that I used, and there was nothing to basically hold it in. So this was small enough that it would just sink right down and be hanging halfway out almost touching the floor when I was walking. This one here is designed a little bit better. If you can tell the stitching actually comes up around where the trigger guard is to keep it set. Once it's in, it's not really gonna move no matter how hard you jiggle it, shake it, whatever. It's not actually gonna slip out like it did on my other one because the stitching holds around the trigger guard. I love that about it. Now it comes to the part and it fits all the other ones just as well. Everything comes across, straps in, Velcro strap. I have no issues with any of the firearms that I have put in it. Here's the Hellcat. Slides in exactly the same. Fits great. Everything fits great. It's very comfortable. And here comes the only part about this one that I don't like. Um, and I think SciTech could, uh, could remedy this quite easily. When this part is around your leg, it is fairly stiff nylon. That's all that this piece is made of is just nylon. The problem is this buckle, these corners, when this is wrapped around your leg and it is tightened up, and I'm gonna kind of use my arm here. Um, when it's tightened up so that it won't slip, if this moves any little bit uh, it will kind of press into my kneecap so I think uh, the only thing that they need to do with this is maybe put a strip of neoprene underneath it um, coming from where from this side where everything is stitched together if they would just put an extra little flap across there it'd be absolutely perfect even though this is stiff nylon, it isn't uncomfortable. Just this hard plastic buckle is what I found to be uncomfortable. And it hasn't been uncomfortable for the, the past month. I've been wearing this one every single day. Some days you don't notice it. 
um, but on really active days, if I'm out with a dog, if I'm at work and I'm running around busy, sometimes this thing will kind of shift around a little bit um, on my leg. And I'll notice it will start pressing into the bottom of my knee. And that is a bit uncomfortable. So that's the only thing that I think uh, SciTech needs to work on with that one. Otherwise, it is a great holster, a great option if for those of you who might want to uh, ankle carry a backup gun. I do regularly, uh, depending on what I'm wearing. Of course, if I'm wearing shorts, I'm not going to do it. But I generally wear jeans at work. Um, I wear you know, black or khaki pants, um, sometimes jeans, but usually it's a little more business, businessy dressed. And I'll wear this under my, you know, pants. And for the most part, again, it has been great. I just wish that they would put something to cover up that buckle like they did for the ankle part. So those are the two holsters that I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know and I'll see you on the next one.